it seemed from the guys that they they weren't exactly thrilled with their performance tonight despite the win. How, how do you see that, Ryan? Yeah, I, I, I would agree with them. Um, I thought there was six, seven guys that came to play. That's not enough on a normal night. But um, our goaltender, thankfully, was one of them, and I thought he was amazing tonight. What did you make of your power play today? Um, it scored a, a goal for us. That's a, a positive thing. You said it about Jacob. I mean, he was great tonight. We hear it so often. You guys, get the, the players, you give him credit for yeah. how good he's been. But a night like tonight was, was something sort of special. Yeah, he was, he was awesome. I mean, like, you look at our last number of games, and, and we've gotten leaky. I think there's a little mental fatigue. So this, this break is coming at the right time for our team where the guys can get away for a little bit, not think about hockey. Um, but back to your... I guess question on Jacob. He's been that way all year, you know. And and tonight he was even more dialed in. He, he made the saves look relatively easy tonight, which is a a nice thing for a coach to watch behind the bench. I asked Rasmus, like, is the is the goal just turn off your phone, get away from hockey, think about sure. anything else? That's like, absolutely. There, I mean, they don't get many days off during the season, so it's nice for them to have a few days where they can think nothing of it, like. Just, I, I really want them to be smart, be safe, and uh, enjoy their time with their families. Um, and still, at the same time, they're professionals. They're they're smart about what they do, so they maintain their conditioning, and then we'll come back and be ready to go and energize for a, a nice road trip. Ryan, when you, when you talk about you know every team's looking to go into their break on yeah. a high note, so to speak. So how do you balance? getting two points versus not being thrilled with the yeah. way it went. It's the two points. Like, we dropped four in a row. So, hey, hey you're not always going to be happy with everything about a game, but they found a way to win um, when things haven't been going our, our direction over the last little while. And as I mentioned earlier, um, there's situations when you need your leaders to be your best players. And I mentioned those seven guys. Well, a lot of them made up our, our leadership group. So um, Michael, his line, Tanny and Hanny on the back end, Marky, um, really good tonight. I, I know you wouldn't have seen Jacob's comments just now, but it's amazing. Like he stops that handful of breakaways tonight, yeah. and he's pissed off post game about the ones that he didn't stop in previous games. Can you just, I guess, put in perspective what that says about him? Um, well, it's the, he's a competitor. Like he's uh, when you look at our team. You look at captains and stuff. I, I know there's all this stuff in Vancouver a number of years ago when they made Luongo the, the captain way back when. Um, he's very much in our leadership group because how he holds himself and the presence that he has um, and the way he competes and the way um, he comes to the rink every day rubs off on people. I think he's rubbed off on Dan Bladar in a, in a really big way. Uh, Dan continues to get better all the time, and I think a lot of that is from watching Jacob at the other end of the ice a lot of nights. How do you fix the breakaways right now? You, uh, have, uh, you know what, I, I think a lot of that is the mental fatigue. Like you're losing people that are skating right past you. Um, I, I think that's got a lot to do with it. What's a game like this like from a coaching perspective with sort of the, the balancing act you have with your blue line? Because obviously you lead hard on four guys. You have yeah. Oliver who hasn't played a ton. You're probably still yeah. trying to ease him in. How do you balance all the different things you need to balance in a game like this? Well, we have to have we, – we're relying on – to put it too few for too many if that makes sense like they play too much they really do and when you have a number of games like back to back or four games in a week and you're asking them to play that much it's not realistic um, they'll give you everything they have because that's the type of people they are but um, it's it's hard and we as as coaches have to do a, a, a better job of managing minutes at times and um, trying to keep them or allow them to be in situations where they're still fresh because when you're not fresh that's when the mental mistakes come in um, and we want to try to avoid that if, if we can. And Elias is not exactly the most outlandish guy when he scores, but yeah. today he was pretty emphatic with that celebration. Did you catch that? And what do you see out of that? I, I didn't see the celebration, no. Um, but he's gone a while without scoring, and that's not normal for Elias. You know, when we when you think of Elias, he's got the, um, the wrist shot where the puck is on and off his stick that's heavy and hard. Um, he hasn't um, gotten that away over the last little while. When you look at him over the last bit, he's had chances, but the finish sometimes just hasn't been there the way he's used to having it go in for him. Um, so it, it it weighs on a player um, when you're expected to score and expected to contribute like that. Um, and it's, it's probably a little bit of a relief for him. So now that he can go on this break, 
um, he can feel a little bit better about um, putting one in the back of the net as well. Klopka looked like he didn't play a ton yeah. and was benched there. Can you just give a perspective on that? I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like that line was very good for us tonight. So it was, you know, maybe, yeah, it's, it's I guess, my decision tonight. What do you think of Oliver in his second game? Um, I, I liked his first game a little bit better, but we kind of expect that. Um, he's going to have some growing pains along the way. He's been off for a long time, but the way he skates and, and how he's preparing himself right now, I don't think we're going to see um, that many dips in his game. So I'm expecting him to be a real important player for us coming back after the break.